What's up, y'all? It's your girl, LaFierce, and I'm coming to you all today with another video. And in today's video, I will be doing a pretty little thing haul. So, quick little backstory. Um, I ordered this January the 4th, I believe. I ordered it January the 4th, and it didn't come until... February 6th or February 8th, something like that. So, way well over a month. Um, so, well over a month, y'all. Like, I just, okay, so quarantine, since, since we've been in quarantine or COVID-19 and, um, I've ordered from them. This was my third time ordering from them. So, the first two times, I, the packages came within like a week. And that's during the quarantine, during the height of it, honestly. Like when they were saying that packages were going to be late and this is that and the third. Yeah. I just don't understand. And then when I got my package... It was ripped open. I can understand that because it's a bag and maybe it got ripped open, you know, during trans transportation, you know what I'm saying? But my packages were open on the inside. Nothing was missing, but it was like somebody went through my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was y'all looking for? Like, it was nothing in there that y'all could do. Nothing, nothing. It was just basics. That's all I ordered was the basics. So, anywho, this is not a rant. This is not a bash on Pretty Little Thing because I fooled with them. But I was just disappointed in the service that I received this go around. Um, I know the mail carriers probably had a lot to do with it because I will say that they, they did ship it out from their warehouse within like a week. But it, it wasn't technically their fault. But it was just more so the mail people. You know, so I'm just disappointed in that factor. Like, I don't know what we need to do for the next time, but mm -mm. kind of discouraging. But, um, with that being said, then I got my shit, and I ain't all that thrilled with some of the pieces. You know what I'm saying? Like, I typically go off of body types when I'm doing my shopping, especially since I'm plus size. Like, Let's just call it what it is. I am. I quarantine weight, baby weight. All of this happened within the last year or two. You know, I had just lost baby weight. So then we go into quarantine and I gain weight from the quarantine. So it's like everything is still kind of just hitting right there. So anywho, whatever. That's a whole nother story. But Nonetheless, I'm plus size, boobs big, butt big, everything. I don't gotta. <laughs> oh, but for the most part, I'm still in some of my same clothes, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's just get into it because this just gonna make me go <laughs> to a whole different level. Um. So I did record this video once before and I recorded it but the try on like I said I was disappointed in some of the items that I received because the way that they were looking on the plus size models they weren't fit me like that so in my mind I'm like okay well they ain't have no boobs then but even still it would have been low cut because I even seen some of the pieces on smaller girls who reviewed these items on YouTube and they were fitting, you know, kind of, it was fitting the way that it should have been fitting, the way that it was fitting on the plus size model, I say that. So, when I got my pieces and I'm like, I'm looking like, what in the world is going on? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like when I do universal cuts, when I use a one body type to cut, 
everything you go wrong like that. Like you don't just need to use plus size models who have small waist, big boobs, big I mean small waist, no boobs. Small thigh, you know, like that plus size. Like the plus size that's technically she can wear a size 10 plus size. She ain't plus size. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They base everything off of a 10 or a 12. Those aren't plus size girls. No, they normal size. Though that is not plus size. So just make me want to start because <laughs> I did. I used to sew. I used to sew. And they and they really pushing me. They really pushing me. Get out here on the market on them. But anywho, they were supposed to be duping, I guess, naked wardrobe. I've never ordered from them. Skims, I've never ordered from them. So this first piece, I did try it on for you all. And I am going to um, insert this in the video. So I did, when I first initially tried it on, when I first got the package in the mail, I did, um, I was not satisfied because, like I said, I have larger breasts and this top was literally cut like straight across my nipples. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, that is no coverage. None whatsoever. This is not fit nothing like how it was fitting on the model. So, and if I would have sized up, it would have been too big. If I would have sized down, it would have been too small. So, the cut is just off. So, in my opinion, they have these super long strap, like the strap, and they're not adjustable. So they created this long strap. The fabric is super stretchy, so that's one thing. That's a whole nother issue. If you're gonna make something like this, these one piece situations, you need to make sure that the top part, like around the breast area, is cut high enough so that the breast can support themselves within the material. And you don't need a super long strap. Like I cut this strap and I've had to tie it in a knot. Like, that's how I'm having to adjust it because it's just going to take too much and too long to even return the items. And I bought, like, three or four of these unitards because in the summertime, that's all you girl wear. But, like I said, I had to cut it. And I tied it in three knots, and it's still too long. So I'm going to have to untie it, and I'm going to have to pull it down some more and tie it again. And probably do four or five knots. But I'm just saying, this is like way too much work. But overall, it's cute. I love the nude tones, the chocolate, you know, all of that. It's super, super. Okay, ladies, so in this clip, I'm just sharing with you all the fit of the unitard, and I absolutely love how they fit. My only complaint was how long the straps were and that they weren't adjustable. So I'm just showing, uh, sharing with you all, excuse me, that like I said in the previous clip, I had to cut it in order to adjust it myself. But I'm still going to have to tie it a little tighter because I still am not satisfied with the fit across the chest. So, I like cleavage but not like my boobs are about to be falling out. For cute. Oh, um, but it's just this area right here. And I just feel like the straps are too long and that is where you have your problem because the material is already stretchy. So with those extra long straps and they're not adjustable, then you're constantly tugging and pulling, trying to pull your straps up, trying to keep this pulled up. You know, I hate fussing with clothes. That is my number one pet peeve. And like with anything that I'm wearing, I don't want to have to fuss with it. You know, put it on, let me wear it. I don't want it to wear me. That's the, that's the thing. So I got it in this chocolate brown. I 
got it in this slate gray color. Same make, same everything. Oh, and the size that I got is a US 14. So, yeah. And I also got it in these two colors. So all in all, I have four. I have this color, which is like a tan, a nude. Then you have this tan color. You have slate. And the chocolate brown. And I just love the color combos, you know, the basic, the neutrals. I absolutely love those. Um, next up, I'll talk about the biker shorts. I love biker shorts. I'm always in biker shorts. I'm always in, like, these little... Um, Unitars, they're just easy to throw on. I don't have to fuss, I don't have to think about it. And then when it's like 110 degrees outside, I don't have time to be putting on all these layers. I don't. It's summertime. Let it go. So I'll start with my. Oh, let me just do this set right here, real quick. Um. So, the next pieces that, well, I'll say piece. This is a set, the same type of, kind of like, um, skims material. That's stretchy, but contoured to the body type material. Super cute. This is like a blush pink or a mauve color. And... It came, it has this top to go to it. Okay. Everything is in a US 14 that I purchased. And let me tell you, this shirt is a US 20. Y'all think I'm lying. It's a US 20. I don't even know if it's going to focus on that. But it's a US 20. And I tried this on in the video as well. It's too small. It's too small for my boobs. So what woman that actually does wear a size 20 is going to be able to fit this? Nobody. Like, I don't know what's going on with this. This is not made for nothing. It's not even made. I can't even wear it as a bra. Okay, y'all. So, I'm just showing you the fit of the mauve biker short set in this clip. And mainly just focusing on the crop top and how it fits. For size purposes, I'm a 38 triple D. And as you can see, it does not fit. It's supposed to be a reverse racer back. And so, that just did not work for me. The way it fit on the model is not how it is fitting on me. And so, um... She was said to be plus size, but, you know, I guess her boobs just were super, super small. And I'm showing you the white one as well. It fits a little bit better. And when I say a little better, it's not cut as low around the breast area, but it still did not cover the breast. If I were to move, I would have all type of boobage hanging out. So still wasn't a good fit. So both tops are being donated. So I'm just like this is was I think I paid five dollars for it, five dollars down the drain. Hell I could have bought another pair of biker shorts. Um but the shorts US 14 
They fit perfect. They, I love them. I tried these on as well. I tried to set on together. So, super cute. And I also got it in a brown. But I did, I did not get the top to go to it. Because I wanted to see how that top would fit. Fits like trash. If you have big boobs, I'm sorry. Um, these models must just be flat chested I'm, I'm just saying they, they can't have any type of boobage because the way that these tops are fitting on them very deceiving very deceiving but like I said chocolate brown or no this is more that unitard that I had was more of I think it, the, the actual color of it was walnut I think this is toffee it's the color scheme that they're going with. Um, and then I just got the basic cotton biker shorts. And I got... I got five pairs of those. You can never go wrong with the biker shorts because you... Um, You can just throw them on with anything. You can throw them on with a t-shirt. You can throw them on with a crop top. You can throw them on with um, a cute little top. Make it sexy. A bandeau top. It's just so many ways that you can style up a biker short or style it down. So, like I said, everything is in the US uh, 14. And the prices for the unitars were seven dollars at the time. The biker shorts were five dollars, and these cotton biker shorts were four dollars a piece. So not bad. So like I said, I got these gray ones. And they actually come down pretty long. They're not the short, short biker shorts. They actually come down like um, right above the knee. But you can pull them up higher and make them more high waisted. And then that'll pull them up like mid thigh. And that's kind of like where I like for mine to sit is mid thigh. So got them in this pink this charcoal gray and of course our basic black so yes those are the biker shorts next up uh, I also got this white tank top that's made like that mauve one that doesn't fit worth nothing. At least this one comes down a little bit further. It's in the same size as US 20 because I was just, I don't know. I don't know what made me size up on them, but even with me sizing up on them, they still are too small. So yeah, this is the white. It's, they're called like reverse racer back tank tops and I think that's the main issue is how far over they're cut like if it was on your back then you know it would be cut out to fit around your shoulder blades but to be cut like that in the front and y'all to measure on somebody who doesn't have big boobs no I can't do nothing with it but throw it to the side or give it away at this point so next up, I have this cute little two-piece. It's cotton. I love it because the pants are super, super long. It's a stretchy two-piece. Um, and I'm just all about cute, comfortable outfits that are practical for me in my life. So it's this cute little floral pattern. And it's these flare pants. And 
and I also tried this on in the video for you all hopefully I was able to get a good enough shot for you and then this cute little crop top with the ruffles around it I just thought this was so cute it was super cute on the model it's super cute on me as well um, I wanted to throw this on for Valentine's Day but I ended up not doing absolutely nothing I think I just chilled um, okay y'all so in this clip I'm just going to be trying on the red two-piece floral set and I absolutely love this little set the pants fit me perfectly as far as the length and in the waist um, I love how it has the little um, threading around each breast to kind of like give it that corset fit even though it is a stretchy two-piece so it's super cute and I absolutely love it and it'll be cute in the spring and in the, I'll be showing you kind of a upside down or sideways trying to give you a full view of it but um, my camera didn't flip so but either way you get the point <laughs> So, lastly, I got some bodysuits. I got another little crop tank that I love to wear, a cotton one. And these I like to wear with my sweatpants. Um, I like to wear them with the biker shorts and stuff like that. So, it's super cute. Just a basic to complete an outfit. And I think I paid three. I think that little tank top was three dollars. These body suits were five, and they're just a thong body suit. This is a V neck t shirt. Has the thong because that's what we love. We love to have a thong body suit, we don't want to have. Um, the brief bodysuit and then I got this sleeveless kind of round neck bodysuit as well in this pink or blush color and I also got this necklace from them maybe I'll get to bring y'all in so this was super cute. I thought this was just something that would be nice to add to an outfit that's real simple. So yeah. And my last two, actually my last three items. Two of the items I have on and I'm going to just scooch y'all back and I'm going to talk to y'all about it. But <clears throat> I have this super cute purse and it's quilted, it's nice and soft, it just kind of reminds me of, I think, um, kind of puts me in the mind of, in the mind frame of, I want to say it is, I don't know what bag it is, but it, it just reminds me of a high-end bag. And I really love that about it. Of course, gold hardware comes with um, a gold chain with the little white strap on it. Not adjustable and you can't remove it I mean you could but you would have to take the little clasp off so close her back up 
And I think she was 10 bucks, so she wasn't bad at all. Super, super cute. Let y'all get a close up of her. So yes, yeah, so the last two items. Scooch y'all back over here. I can get up. So the last two items are this bodysuit. It's a bandu bodysuit as you can see it's strapless it goes all the way around and it is a thong as you can see it's cut and the sweatpants as well They're super baggy. I like that about them. The top is a 14. The pants are 14. So, super cute. Alright, y'all. So, yeah. That is it for... The, my pretty little thing haul. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Um, I'm just losing my clothes here. I'm losing my clothes. <laughs> I'm sitting here watching my baby. Y'all, he is so sleepy. Y'all, every time he doze off, he get up and he start dancing like this. I'm trying to fight it, boy. Oh, he trying to fight this sleep. Too busy trying to see what I'm doing. But anywho, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. If you do decide to pick up some of these pieces from Pretty Little Thing, just be cautious of the fit. Um, most of the time, I'm like a eight and a half out of nine. I mean, eight and a half out of ten on my pics when I'm doing it like when I'm just visually looking at the body type of the model against my body type I'm usually pretty spot on but the cut for the boob is my issue with all of these pieces that is it so just be cautious if you're a heavier um, chested woman or um, young lady just be cautious that the cut might be a little low and you might have to do some adjustments or get it tailored to your body or you know just whatever whatever your preference is for the fit of your clothes me I want mine to be a little bit more pulled up um, so that's just me and my preference. But I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace and love. Bye.